Mike Leach kicks off his seventh season as the head coach at Washington State, and this year he begins it on the road, going up to Wyoming against a team who is already 1-0. They beat New Mexico State a week ago, 29-7. Wazoo now goes to Laramie, and this place will be crazy. Over 29,000 people will fill this stadium, all of them with anticipation around Wazoo, and of course, what are they doing at the quarterback position? Mike Leach has not said a lot. He actually hasn't said anything regarding who's going to be the starter. I believe it's going to be the graduate transfer, Garner Minshew from East Carolina. Not too worried about this offense because you look at the history of the air raid, whoever plays the quarterback position usually finds success. And a big reason for Wazoo this year, why the offense will have success, is the wide receivers. They've got talent across the board. Probably the deepest group under Mike Leach. We're talking about Kyle Sweet in the slot. Tay Martin at the, on the outside, Esau Winston Jr. They've got a litany of wideouts that are used to playing in this system. I think will make it easy on whoever the quarterback is. Now on the defensive side, they've lost a lot of players. Ricky Lizamata'afa, he is no longer there. But a guy returning is Peyton Pallor. He was granted a sixth year of eligibility, something we do not see a lot in college football. This guy is a captain. He was born to play at Washington State. His family has played football there. And I think he's got a lot to prove. And I think he raised the standard of this defense because they have lost their defensive coordinator. In comes Tracy Clays, the former head coach at Minnesota, who, oh, by the way, two years ago, orchestrated a defensive scheme that slowed down Mike Leach's offense in a bowl game. So a lot of new faces, a lot of changes for Washington State. You can check them all at 1230 Pacific on CBS Sports Network as the Cougs travel to Laramie.